How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how you can easily recover lost or accidentally deleted files from your computer, so your Mac or your Windows PC and also from your iPhone. This method is great, it's super easy, you're going to love it. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay guys, so let's begin and as you can imagine, if you want to recover a lost or accidentally deleted file or data of any kind, you're going to need to use a software, a tool. And for this video, we're going to use Disk Drill. Okay, this is the utility we're going to use. I just love it. This is the one I personally I personally use. So that's why I'm recommending. So uh, as soon as you open it up, that's the, the little icon right there. As soon as you open it up, you're going to have this screen, this window right here. And you're also going to have this widget at the right top corner right there. I'm going to talk about this widget in a second. So first, let's focus, of course, on the recover part. Uh, and all you have to do is see your hard drive. As you guys can see, Apple SSD, that's my hard drive right there. Uh, it's saying it's healthy, it's showing my battery, and it's showing also my storage right there, uh, how much I have and the total amount and everything like that, normal. Uh, but the cool thing is actually right here. If it's the first time you're going to use the software, it's going to say recover, just like this one right here. So recover with the arrow. Since I have already uh, done this procedure, it's going to say continue. But of course, I can show you from the beginning. So if you're doing this for the first time, you just hit recover. Uh, if you're doing this for the second or third like I am, and you want to do it from the top uh, all you have to do is tap on this little gear and then tap on deep scan and then it's going to go from the top so i'm going to start a new scan so i'm going to uh, start scanning from the top all my computer and see all of my lost and deleted files and what i can actually recover this takes a few minutes so of course i'm going to skip it uh, but before i have to tell you that i have the link in the description so you guys can check it out uh, so disk drill right there in the description this, this is going to be the first link so you can click go to the website and download of course as i mentioned this process works for Mac and PC as well so it is not Mac exclusive okay so let's wait for the scan to be completed and I'll be back okay so as you can see after just a few minutes those are all the files that disk drill actually can recover for you those are all lost and deleted files that you can actually recover get back and use again as normal so we have 16 documents we have uh, one partition one audio file four pictures and other uh, system files as well that you can just of course navigate and take a look so you can just go ahead and have a look at those files and uh, navigate through the folders and of course uh, recover those files individual either individually actually so look at that how many files we have those are all documents or you can actually uh, restore the whole folder so in this case restore the whole 16 files if you want to same story with audio we have here uh, uh, an MPA file so an audio file and same story with pictures right here a PNG two PNG actually and two TIFF files TIF files okay so let's just test it out I'm gonna recover both these PNG files right here so these two okay so I'm just gonna mark those two right there so this and that and then of course I'm just gonna hit recover right here at the top right corner so recover and then I'm gonna recover and put them in the desktop so let's have a look at what those files are okay so as you guys can see my destination folder is set right here to desktop so then recover again and I'm just gonna say yes to this message and it's been succeeded and as you guys can see it's saying pictures right here on my desktop it just created automatically uh, let's have a look. Let's go there, PNG, and let's go ahead and open those photos. And as you guys can see, they're just uh, icons, actually, that it, that are from uh, a video that I used. And this, those are percentage icons right there, 22%. This is just for a video that I did. So this is just a file that, of course, I don't need that, but that's why I delete it. But maybe if for some reason you actually accidentally delete it, as you guys can see, you can easily recover any kind of file just like that super easy and as you guys can see now it is green so it means that it has been successfully recovered so for the computer part that's pretty much it okay uh, as you guys just saw it saved that session so if I want to uh, recover new files from that same session again I don't have to run through the deep scan once again I can just open that straight up so it's not gonna take all those minutes to exit to actually scan again but of course if you want to do a new scan all over again because you have new files that you deleted you can just use that process that I showed you tapping the gear icon so as I mentioned this works for Mac and PC uh, the software looks pretty much identical on both devices so this is the process for both um, and now let me show you of course how you can do that how you can recover lost files on your iPhone as well let's begin 
Of course, we're gonna need to do that via cable. So I'm just plugging in my cable right here, as you guys can see on the computer, and then I'm plugging on my iPhone as well. So then right here on my iPhone is plugged in. I'm gonna say trust, of course, and then put my passcode. And as you guys can see, uh, Daniel's iPhone just appeared right there. I'm just gonna put my iPhone right there at the corner so you can see that everything is plugged in and connected. And same story, uh, this drill makes everything so easy. Now I can just click on iPhone as I have clicked and click on restore, uh, recover, sorry, and then okay, let's do it and then it's gonna start doing its thing. Uh, with iOS, it's going to do the same thing, so it's gonna look for, for uh, photos, notes, uh, all the icons you're seeing right there in the background, contacts, messages, it's gonna do its thing, okay? So we gotta be patient a little bit and wait for a second because it's a lot of processing that, that this reel does, so it takes a few minutes, but it is definitely worth it. Okay, so same story here on my iPhone. As you guys can see, Daniel's iPhone 11 Pro Max, that's my iPhone right here. And after a few minutes, this drill is gonna analyze all your iPhone and show all your files. Uh, so it's separated by category, as you guys can see here. Uh, so it's a ton of data, ton of applications and files and things like that on your iPhone, as you can imagine. And then as you, all you have to do is, same story, just select a category, select a file, uh, and then you're gonna have, of course, uh, recover, and then it's gonna recover that file to your desktop. So again, you can recover the whole thing, like for example, the whole contacts, or just individual contacts, same for calendar photos, videos, bookmark messages, text messages, text, text notes, actually, and uh, other files as well. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's amazing, and it does the same thing it does for your Mac and your Windows, it does for your iPhone as well, and this works for Android too, okay? I'm just gonna demonstrate on the iPhone because I just have an iPhone right here, but it works on Android phones as well. So now let's go back, okay? Let's go back to your main screen. And actually, I wanna give you some extra because this drill can do actually more than just recover files. Uh, it actually can deal with backups, uh, it can clean your storage, and it can actually find duplicates. It's super cool. I just love all those features as well. So I'm just gonna show you very quickly the cleanup feature. So I'm gonna select Macintosh HD, and it's gonna scan once again. So it's gonna scan your hard drive and see what it can actually do to um, uh, just improve your memory, so just clean your memory. So it's gonna show you uh, every category and all big files and everything, and you can just very easily select them here and delete, and of course, uh, save and, and actually clear a lot of storage. Let's wait until it finishes scanning. As you guys can see, the process is much faster than uh, the other one we were doing before. So as you guys can see, it's now saving the session very quickly and it takes less than a minute. And as you can see, it shows you everything and all those files, those big files that you can actually delete in order to clear your storage. So you can see here users, you can see here applications, and you can see the size of them and everything. You can see the big files right there, of course, and you can just manage them so easily, like your pictures, movies, uh, music, downloads, desktop, and also all your big applications as well that you can just go ahead and easily tap here and go ahead and remove. So it's just as easy as that is tapping here and then removing so you can remove uh, as I said software and files and anything like that so this is super cool if you want if you want an easy way to see to visualize how you can clean up your storage on your Mac okay super cool and if we come back we actually have the last feature I want to show you today uh, which is the find duplicates which I very like as well I like very much so you can actually select a folder and it's gonna actually auto automatically tell you if it has duplicate files or not, which will also help you, of course, save storage on your uh, HD. So uh, tap on add folder, and then you're gonna add that folder, and then it's already selected here. So Daniel, uh, that's my home folder, and then pictures, because it's common to have duplicate uh, files on, in your pictures, right? And then hit open, and then it start analyzes, analyzing very quickly, as you guys can see, and then you're gonna tap on that, and scan, and it's gonna do the scanning very fast, and it's pretty much that, comparing files, and that's done. And as you can see, you have here uh, the number of files that are duplicate. So as you can see, this one, for example, has two files, so it's 
twice, duplicate. Uh, some are more, some are less, but all of those files are actually duplicate. If you tap here on the arrow, you're gonna see that it is duplicate in, in a way, maybe it's in a different folder, maybe it's duplicate in the same folder, and you can see the date of creation and everything like that as well. And what you can actually do is actually just tap on the arrow, select one of those files and remove. So you're just gonna remove one of the files, you're just gonna have one. So if you imagine this one at the bottom right here that we have six, so we can actually just select them all, but one, so then you're gonna delete five and keep one. So then you're gonna remove all those files and just have one of each, which is pretty much what we need, right? That's it. So yeah, and um, I didn't forget actually, I told you that we had a little widget right here. Uh, this is very cool. Every time you open this drill, this little uh, widget on the toolbar pops up and it just shows you uh, some basic information but that I, that I like. So your SSD, uh, the uptime, so the, the amount of hours it has been run. So it has been like actually in use, just for 55 hours because this is a new Mac. Uh, and of course your power cycle amount so how many uh, um, uh, cycles of battery I have actually run through. So 87 times I have um, put my battery from zero to 100 or from 100 to zero, if you know what I mean. So it's just 87 cycles on this battery. Again, this is a very new Mac. That's why those numbers are so low. And of course, we have extra information regarding storage and everything like that. And also the temperature of the disk, you can see right there. So 42 degrees Fahrenheit. I just like that as well to see if it's running hot or not, this is also very nice to have this little widget in the toolbar. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much uh, a tutorial showing you how you can recover lost or accidentally deleted files from your computer, Mac or Windows, and from your iPhone as well, on top of some extra very nice features from the tool called Disk Drill. Once again, I have to tell you that we have the, the link in the description, so you just go ahead, click on that link, and you're gonna go straight to this Drill website, and you can just go ahead and download that tool for yourself and try it. I'm 100% sure you're gonna love it because I just loved it. So that's why I'm recommending. So that's pretty much it guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.